Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. So if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I do primarily game on my PlayStation 5 and my Xbox Series X. However, I have actually recently been playing on my iPhone as well. Now, if you've ever tried gaming on a mobile using the on-screen or the touchscreen controls, you'll know that it's not easy. And if you're playing games like Call of Duty or using the Xbox Remote Play, it's pretty hard. And this is where the new gaming accessories come in. So thank you to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video. So I'm going to show you which accessories I'm using, what I think to them, and how you can use your Xbox Series X and Series S controllers on iOS, something that is not currently supported. But if you are an Android user, you're good, as the Xbox controllers are already supported. So first up is this mobile gaming clip, and this is actually really cool. So if you're gaming on your phone and you want to use a controller, you'll either need to hold your phone, or you need to kind of stand it or prop it up against something and hoping that it doesn't fall over. But with this little plastic clip, you can literally game without needing to hold your phone at all. Basically, it's a plastic clip that attaches onto the Xbox controller, as you can see here. You hook over the top, then you click it into the bottom, and it feels really solid as well. It definitely feels very, very tight, and it's definitely not going anywhere. Once it's connected, you slot your phone into place, and you just pull this extendable arms up. And this feels really firm as well. Again, there's no way that my phone is going to slip out of this. And as it is extendable, it will fit pretty much any phone that's on the market. Now that that's in, I can adjust the angle and the height of my phone just by kind of moving this mechanism on the side. And it's really easy to do as well. You can do this one-handed quite easily. But what's really cool about this is I don't have to keep my phone connected to the controller at all times. I can actually remove the clip from the controller, but still keep it attached to the phone. And now this clip actually becomes a tabletop stand. So it means if you've got a flat surface, you can actually put your phone on that, on your table or on your desk, and you can still game. Now the clip itself is only 70 grams, so there's no weight to it at all. And once you're done, it actually folds quite flat as well, so you can easily put it in your pocket, for example. Now this will work with both the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X and S controllers, as well as the Elite and the Elite Series 2. Now there's actually an adapter on the back, and if you actually pull this, it will allow you to change between the controllers that you might be using. And for only £25 or $30, I think this clip is really worth it. Okay, so next up is the Easy Grip controller shell. So if you're using the new Xbox Series X or Series S controllers, you'll know that they are pretty grippy anyway, but this hard shell adds another layer of grip and protection, especially if you're out and about. So this hard shell is designed to clip over the controller. It's made up of four pieces in total. So you've got the front, you've got the back, and then you've got the two grippy corners as well, both of which can be swapped out. Now, once you've got the corners in place, you just clip the back shell on, followed by the front, now both shells clip together and that's pretty easy to do and you know what this feels this feels really nice there's no bulk added to it at all now i was actually concerned that it would feel bigger or heavier but no this is this is really nice now it definitely feels ergonomic and you can definitely feel that it's grippier than the original controller and it's got like a nice no slip texture to it as well plus as it is a hard shell it obviously protects the controller definitely against scuffs or knocks especially when you're out and about What's great about this shell as well is the battery compartment is not covered, it's still accessible. Now this is a clever and obvious design, but something that could have been easily overlooked. So there are two versions available for this shell. You've got the Xbox One and then you've got the Xbox Series X and S. So if you do order one, just make sure you order the correct size. So these shells are currently £35 or $40. Now they are available in a few different colours as well. So I've gone for the black one, but you can get it in a white colour and a purple one as well. So if you're gaming on the go, like commuting or on your lunch break at school or at work, you'll probably want to take your controller with you. Now, you could just throw your controller in your bag and be done with it, but you are risking damaging the joysticks or knocking the triggers as well. So this is the Otterbox Gaming Carry Case. It's a hard shell and it is water resistant, so it will let you store your Xbox controller as well as the phone clip that I covered before, as well as space for a USB cable and a few other bits. But yeah, this is really, really nice. It feels solid and it only weighs 290 grams. Now around the back there's actually a port here and if you remove this as you can see this will allow you to feed a charging cable through so if you want to charge your xbox controller while it's in this case you can do that now on the top this is a really cool design so this little flap here this flips up and it will then let you actually mount your phone on top of the case so let's say you don't have that mobile clip that i showed you before you can actually use this carry case as your stand so this carry case is currently 35 pounds or 45 dollars and i don't actually think that is a bad price at all so if you're familiar with Otterbox already, you'll be aware that they've been selling phone cases for years. So this is one of their easy grip phone cases, which feels really, really nice. Now it's really thick. It's good to see that the buttons are part of the case as well. And it's got like a nice texture to the back of it, which definitely feels like a non-slip texture. So this case offers something called Drop Plus. Now that means it can withstand three times as many drops as military standard. 
but it's also got something else built in, which is called Call Vergence. Now this actually reduces the risk of your phone overheating, which obviously will be the case during gameplay. But yeah, in the hand, this feels really nice. You can definitely feel that anti-slip and it feels comfortable and it only weighs 59 grams. So this is a nice case. And these currently sell for £30 or $55. So the last piece I wanted to show you was something called privacy glass. Now this is obviously what you fit to the screen on your phone. So if you're gaming in public, you might not want people to see what you're actually playing, whether that's due to privacy concerns or maybe the type of games that you're playing. I guess it could be age restricted, for example. So this privacy glass is essentially a screen protector and it lets you still see your screen with no loss of clarity. But what it does is it actually blocks the views of your screen from the sides. So as you can see here, as I'm moving from side to side, the center of the screen is absolutely fine. It's crystal clear. But as I go off to the side, it goes almost black. And this is absolutely awesome. On top of that, it's got an advanced drop protection for shatter resistance. And it's got a two times anti-scratch material as well. So this privacy glass protector currently costs £25 or $50 on the Otterbox website. So yeah, if you're concerned about your privacy, not just for gaming, you can use this just for your phone in general use. This screen protector is absolutely awesome. So something I mentioned at the beginning of the video was using the Xbox Series X and Series S controllers on your iPhone. So if you're using the older Xbox controllers, will these work on your iPhone with no problem at all? However, the new Xbox Series X and S controllers, they might not work for you straight away. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the latest iOS. So anything before 14.5 will not work. It will not be compatible with these controllers. Now at the moment, or at the time of recording at least, iOS 14.5 is only available as part of the public beta. So I've been using the beta for the last couple of weeks and that's how I've been able to use these controllers on my iPhone. So once you're on iOS 14.5, all you need to do is turn the controller on, make sure you have Bluetooth switched on. Now you just pair the controller with the phone and that's it you're now able to use your Xbox controller with the iOS device. Now I have added a link in the description on how you can get iOS 14.5. So yeah, that's my gaming on the go setup. Now, if I was commuting every day or I wanted to play my Xbox games, remote play, Call of Duty, things like that from my phone, I would definitely use these accessories. Even around the house, I can play now without needing to use or rely on my iPhone touchscreen controls because I can use my Xbox controller with this adapter. And the fact this carry case lets me keep my controller and accessories in is awesome. And you've just made it to the end of this video, so thank you for sticking with me. I know this is something different to what I would usually create, but as I've mentioned before on a couple of other videos, I want to try covering accessories and smaller items rather than just a full setup tour each week. So if you drop an Xbox mobile in the comments, I will give you a thumbs up as I know you've made it to the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button as it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.